What's up guys, it's your boy Chef from Off The Dome back in with another video. Today's one, it's kind of about Chris Brown, but in general about celebrities. But uh, it'll be part one or part two. Different titles, of course. All right, so we have Chris Brown, who has been ridiculed, put down, rightfully so. He's done a lot of shit. He also has done things 10 years ago, which started all this, and then it all basically culminated until the rape hoax and um, earlier this year, him having a gun pulled out on that woman at his mansion, him with cruelty trans accusations. It never ends with him. I'm not saying he's not guilty. I'm not one of those fans that's blindly going to say he's a good dude. Chris Brown, overall, is not a good person. But nor are a majority of us and nor are the celebrities that we currently worship and follow. Chris Brown has just had a price on his head. Now, some things were boneheaded he did to himself, but let's not forget that a lot of your favorite actors, entertainers, etc., have all been accused of something within the last three years while the Me Too movement started. Because everyone, every man at least, at least has dirt. Women have dirt as well, but that's not taken seriously in our society. But I'm tired of people hating on Chris Brown, or not even hating, just being baffled at his success. This man doesn't get the respect he deserves, I believe. Now, sometimes I think people overdo it, but you guys, you guys are trying to force people to stop listening to this man's music. You guys are trying to mute him every chance you can. The good hair thing. When he literally said that in the AO song, my bitch got real hair. Um, we just many, many, many references. Talking about real hair, natural hair. We have pointless songs. Thick, long hair, red bone, little Wayne. Drake said, yeah, with that natural afro. There's plenty of statements about natural hair versus weave versus et cetera. Bruno Mars said, we're going to get your weave done in one of his songs. There's plenty of statements made about hair over the years. So I don't know why women get upset. I don't know why men get upset. These women who get upset are just angry Chris Brown fans who have quote-unquote kinky or hard texture hair or other people who are just outraged for them. But the truth is, the majority of this fan base is female. See, you don't have to worry about that these days, you know? So, yeah, but sorry about that. I had to pause the video real quick. Someone's walking by. But the point I'm trying to make is that Chris Brown, overall, as a person, a human being, should not be ridiculed and judged for a single thing he does. He still does make decent quality music that we can all consume. His fan base is mostly females, without a shadow of a doubt, black females. He has Hispanics, he has people in the UK that listen to him, he has Australian artists, he has a South American audience, a South African audience. He has all these people who still continue to listen to him. He's gotten bigger somewhat since the domestic violence case. He had many albums chart, go silver, diamond, gold, multi-platinum, etc. If people are still choosing to listen to his music, there's no point in trying to stop him at this point. You guys listen to your music, I'm pretty sure if we dug behind half the artists you guys listen to, half the actors you guys watch have some type of dark, dirty secret that if we told you, you probably would brush off because you like their work. So if you don't like his work, cool. There are a lot of women who do. A lot of these people are consenting women. These aren't just teenage girls. These girls, people who grew up with him are now are adults. These are middle-aged women. He has a huge demographic of all races of women, basically. He has a Latino community, a couple of UK British people, which I'm pretty sure is majority white than black. There's more white people than black people, unlike the United States, where there's a little bit more black influence. He has an audience in South Africa. He has the Japan leg of his tour. So if he's able to grab all these audiences after everything you know about all the, all the controversies, at this point, just let him be. You can't force somebody to not like something, because that's when you become the bully yourself. Anyway, this has been Off the Dome, presented by your boy Chef once again. Let me know what you think about Chris Brown still being accepted today in today's climate. I think it's a wonderful thing. I mean, I like all this music. I may not think he's a good person, but he's technically been taken to jail. He's been fined. He's been all this. It's not like he's escaping all this stuff. Now, a normal person, I agree, will be in jail for half the stuff he's done, but he's not. That's the perks you get of being a celebrity, I mean. And remember, this is going to be part two of the video, but remember, I feel politicians have some pretty shady shit in their past as well. So maybe you should look at the politicians and your local mailman, your local teacher, your own family member before you look at Chris Brown. That's part two. Stay tuned. It's your boy Chef signing out.